What's up, everyone? Bri Bri Guy here. Um, last night, um, just a few hours ago, Sergio Pettis faced Brandon Brandon Moreno. Uh, UFC Fight Night Mexico. I think it was Fight Night 114. Uh, Ryan's a little squirrely right now. Um, Sergio went to a five round decision, five round war with Brandon and beat him in Mexico. Um, I know back when Cody Garbrandt and TJ, that fight was canceled. TJ was pulling for a Mighty Mouse fight. And then Dana White and Mighty Mouse had their well-publicized beef. Mighty Mouse delivered that long message on social media stating what had happened. And he was saying that he wanted to fight either Ray Boar or Sergio for the title next. Um, felt that TJ wasn't deserving of the title just yet. Um, so now that Sergio has won, perhaps maybe he can fight TJ. I know TJ is fighting Ray Boar in Edmonton on 215. I feel my emails will go through Ray Borg really quickly. Maybe go to the decision, but I feel Mighty Mouse, regardless, will win. So we should do a Pettis Mighty Mouse fight. Um, Pettis is now five straight in, in the flyweight division. He's looked dominant. He's good in every aspect. He trains with his brother, uh, Anthony Pettis. Trains with Duke, Gr Duke Griffiths. He's a well rounded fighter. He knows what he's doing. And I think it's time for him to fight Mighty Mouse. It'll be a very entertaining fight, very skilled fight in a much needed flyweight division resurgence. Um, not many people are talking about this division. A lot of people want to get rid of this division. It's unfortunate, a lot of great fighters in this division, including the champ, pound for pound best, Mighty Mouse. Um, so yeah, Sergio Pettis, Mighty Mouse fight could be in the works after 215 if Mighty Mouse were to win. Even if Mighty Mouse loses, maybe do a Ray Borg Pettis, but I actually see Mighty Mouse getting a rematch if he were to lose. In some strange fashion, but <clears throat> excuse me, Mighty Mouse, Sergio Perez. Let's get that fight talking after two fifteen.